Hi there, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use Svelte SPA Router. So it's pretty simple. You're going to npm install Svelte SPA Router and then you can import a router from Svelte SPA Router. And sorry, I'm doing this in the REPL, it's just simpler. Um, but yeah, you should do this in your local. So I'm going to have my router, this router component. I can pass it in routes like this. So it's going to be an object. And basically it's just going to go from whatever you want the route to be to the component that you want it to mount. So I have home, about, blog. Home and about are just static. There's nothing going on there. Blog, um, basically params.blog name. I'm going to show you how to pass a uh, param like that. Okay, so here there's going to be home. So slash is home. And um, so that's the default. That's where we are now. And then slash about is going to be the about page like that. And let's make a little nav bar. So we're going to have... Um, a href equals. Okay, so this is a hash based router. So, um, by the way, I'd encourage you to check this out. This kind of explains pros and cons of hash based routing and other types um, by Alessandro. This is the guy that made uh, Svelte SPA router. And here is the docs. So it's just Svelte SPA router. Okay, so um, we're going to do. So basically, you're all going to start with this uh, in your routes. And so this isn't as good as for SEO, but um, it's going to be good for like apps that are internal to your business or just for you and your friends or an app that's behind a login. I think um, this could also work. Like Gmail uses it. So, um, okay. <clears throat> anyway, back to this. So this is just going to be the default. Uh, so it's just home. And then we'll have a href equals slash, 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 slash about. And this is going to be about like that. Okay. And then, uh, so you see home and I click about and now we're at about. And another thing I'm going to import here is location, and this will tell you what page you're on currently. So let me just plop this here down at the bottom, uh, location. So you see slash, and so in reality, it's actually going to be, um, so it's telling you after the hash what the routing is, but uh, if you look in your link, it's going to look something like uh, this down here. Okay, kind of like I show you here. Okay, so now let me show you blog, how to pass in a parameter. So let's say I just have blog slash blog name. So you put a colon first, blog name, and then that will pass in a um, into params. So you can just export the params, and then this will have blog name when I hit that route. So uh, blog, let's see, invalid path value for path argument. So a href equals hashtag slash blog slash colors. My blog about colors. Uh, invalid value for path argument. Okay, so blog. Okay, this needs to start with the slash. Okay, cool. So here's my colors. This is the colors blog. I think colors are cool. So these are the params. Blog name is colors because blog name, <coughs> and then I pass in colors. Okay, cool. So another thing you can do, uh, which I used a bit, but I'm not a big fan anymore. You can use link here. So if you'd rather not put this hashtag thing in front of it, you can just use link, and that will do that hashtag thing for you. Um, so now I click home and we're here where we were before. So I'm not a big fan of this because like if you have a dynamic href, then this this won't work because uh, if this changes, then like this only runs once it's mounted. So if this changes after being mounted, it's just going to break it. So, um, but you can use link there. So there's a lot of features. There's also like um, an active feature. You can also do something like um, <clears throat> dynamically imported components, which helps with code splitting if you want to set that up so that you only send components to the user um, that they need or only routes that they're actually looking at. Uh, navigation between pages. So there's also, I'm not going to do this, but uh, there's a push, there's a pop, there's a replace. So you can uh, like programmatically go from one page to another. Uh, okay, so there's also optional params. There's something like this, so it matches anything plus this uh, path plus whatever. Um, yeah, so export lit params, getting the current page, so that's location I showed you. Query string params, got that too. So you can look through this, highlight active links, you can use this active uh, action. Um, you can also use regex in the routes, and then advanced usage, so anything, yeah, nested routers, lots of stuff there. Okay, so as you can see, I was actually surprised coming back to this how many like new features there are. It's version 3.0 now, three, or 3.0.5. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, this is my, you know, now especially with Sapper, um, you know, the news with Sapper. Uh, this is maybe my, well, I guess the router I use the most. Um, so if you need SEO, one thing you could do that I've been thinking, <coughs> I don't know if this is the best idea, but have like, um, you know, a few pages for your, 
your landing page, basically. Like you'd have an index.html and you'd have like an about.html. So no Svelte involved, but then you'd have some kind of like folder app, which is where your like uh, public thing is. So once they log in, you pass, you go to your Svelte app and then you can use hash based routing. So I like this because you don't have to set anything up on the server and it just works like this. Um, it's just not very good for SEO since it doesn't index the pages separately, which I guess uh, you want. Okay, that's everything for this video. Let me know what you think. Have you used this? What other router do you use? And that is all. Bye.